Hi, this is Sherry with Freedom in a Can, and thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Now, before we get started today, I'm just going to urge you to hit that subscribe button so you can keep on coming back for some great off-grid solar and RV road life information. Today we're reviewing the Renogy One Core Monitor, the next generation of smart home automation and energy management devices. We'll be showing you how it works, how to install it, how to set everything up, including the sweet new RV leveling feature. We'll also be comparing last year's model with this one, and of course, letting you know what we think about it. Let's get started. Now we have been using this core to monitor our system for the past month and we really love it as a standalone monitor. It's easy to use, easy to see, and shows us everything we might want to know about our system. The core will monitor all of your solar components, your charge controller, your batteries, your inverter, your DC to DC charger, and more in one super convenient place. With the core connected to Wi-Fi, you can use the DC Home app on your smartphone to remotely connect and monitor what's going on with your system wherever you happen to be provided you have a cell signal. While this device is designed for off-grid remote monitoring, you can't be offline. The new RV leveling feature helps you level your RV while you are in the driver's seat. So basically, the Renogy One Core is like an RV battery monitor on steroids. It connects wirelessly through either built-in Bluetooth when combined with newer Renogy components or via Bluetooth modules with older Renogy components or even hardwired with communication cables if you prefer. The core is designed with the latest smart lithium iron phosphate batteries in mind, but if you have AGM or gel batteries, the new smart shunt accessory gives you the same functionality out of the monitor. If you are using wireless connections, the only wire that you'll need to connect to your system is the included power supply wire. This can be connected directly to your fuse box, your bus bar, or battery terminals. Additionally, the core can also be powered through a USB-C outlet, which is super handy. We're going to use this extra slot in our DC fuse box because the included wire is long enough to reach our desired installation location. Installing the mounting bracket is very, very simple. When compared to the M1, where you need to trace out the pattern of the back and then cut away the cabinet, the core just has one simple hole. So all you need is one of those hole saws on a drill and you'll have it done in no time. Before installing the core mounting bracket, level your RV as you normally would. It has this little level here, which helps you set up the RV leveling feature. So everything needs to be installed level or that feature won't work properly. We're gonna install the monitor right here by the door so that we can peek inside and check our charging status and our level. And because we're installing it on a wall, we're getting a little creative here with a round junction box. So as soon as you add power to the device, the screen will automatically come on. The first thing that you're going to see is a privacy policy that they want you to read and agree to. You click there when you have. Then it's going to look for an internet access. So that can be either your home internet, Starlink Roam, hotspot on your phone, whatever you prefer. And we are going to use our Starlink. So I'm just going to need to put in that password. Once you have your password in there, just click on join. And it will connect to the network. This is where you're gonna install the DC Home app if you don't already have that on your smartphone. So you will just use the lens on your phone to scan that, click on it, click on that link, and it brings the DC Home app up and you just click on download. Okay, it's installed on the phone, so you just click on installed. And then this is where you're going to pair the core with the DC Home app so that you can drive the functionality of everything with your smartphone. So once that's installed, you just click on the plus button right there, and then you say scan QR code. Scan that QR code and immediately it says that the Renogy One core is paired successfully. So you're done with that. And now you can see that the core has come up as one of the devices on your DC Home app. And it says, let's add your first device. 
So this is where you're going to add things like your battery bank, your charge controller, your DC to DC charger, your inverter, and all of your smart home accessories. So it is automatically finding anything that it recognizes that has Bluetooth attached to it. So we're going to come up here and hit add and they are now added successfully. Now we have two batteries, battery one and battery two, so you'll be able to see both of them here. And then this is our charge controller. Now if you want to rename this, you can just come on in here and click on the device name and this is where you could type in charge controller and hit save. So now when it comes back to the home screen, you can see your battery and your charge controller and it would list all the devices that you have added. If you would like to add additional devices later on, right here is where you just click on add devices. And now if you're adding smart accessories, you're going to do exactly the same thing and the wizard is going to walk you through the entire process. And we will cover this in a later video. And finally, the RV leveling feature. Once the monitor is installed and your rig is level, all you need to do is click on RV leveling and then go to the settings tab up here. And you're going to choose installation orientation and choose where your monitor is installed. Ours is on the passenger side facing left. And then you just need to hit calibrate. You only need to do this once and it will remember the setting. So if you are like us, you like to be off in your RV in a gorgeous place, far away from anywhere. Those of us who travel this way, well, we know that there's not always reliable cell service. The Renogy One Core uses Bluetooth, so it works as a simple monitor, even without Wi-Fi or you're completely out of cell phone range. This means that you can take your off-grid rig anywhere and the core will still connect to your components and monitor everything going on in your rig. It'll even run the smart home accessories as you've programmed them. However, if you're going to be away and want to be able to use any of the remote functions, including smart home security gadgets, both the core and the smartphone must have some sort of Wi-Fi or mobile data connection. This way, the two devices can actually talk to each other. If you simply want to monitor your system in real time, either in person or remotely, you do not need a subscription plan. But if you are an energy management data nerd and you know who you are and want to record and monitor historical energy production data, which allows you to plan for the future as well as monitor multiple Renogy One units on separate systems, then the standard subscription for $30 per year is a steal. If you're looking at purchasing either the M1 or the Core, you may be wondering what the major differences are. And we found that the Core model is smaller with a stylish design, easier to install, and more user-friendly when adding and programming devices and accessories. The smaller design eliminates the physical switches and relays, instead offering Zigbee smart home automation accessories that work wirelessly with the Core. This reduces the wiring headache of pulling wires from the various appliances to the M1 monitor. The core also has the new RV leveling feature, which the M1 does not. It's a nice upgrade if you plan to use it in a single vehicle RV, such as a van, motorhome, or even a truck camper. But if you tow a trailer like we do, the Bluetooth signal simply is not powerful enough between our truck and trailer. So we're pretty impressed with this little Renogy One Core Monitor. It has a lot of features that we're already in love with, and we're excited about the potential for the expansion with the smart home automation gadgets. The only downside we saw was the distance limitation with the Bluetooth between our truck and our trailer. It really would be nice to be able to use that RV leveling feature from the driver's seat. Stay tuned, we'll be talking more about the core as we put it through its paces over the next couple of months. Thanks for watching folks and we will see you on the road.